Can I shock you? Is it fine for me to shock you? Okay, let's go. Arsenal are going to win this game. I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Arsenal Football Club will beat Chelsea in their Premier League encounter at 12.30 Greenwich Mean Time in the day of the Lord, February 4th, 2017. Um, but I'll get to the bigger picture here. So where are we at right now? Chelsea are pretty much champions-elect. They're the team that I inform. They're the best team in the league. Arsenal are a team who lost to Watford at home. Even if they, this was a chance for them to close the lead. Liverpool and Chelsea drawing. Tottenham drawing. United are sixth. Yes, they are still sixth. But Arsenal decided to lose 2-1 to Watford. But how... So you, you, I go back to my original statement. So they say double H half up. Based on what he said, Chelsea being the best team in the league, Arsenal being losers, why would Arsenal defeat Chelsea? Because this isn't Wenger against Mourinho. I think Mourinho has gotten into Wenger's head and if Mourinho was managing Chelsea, it would be yet another, another loss. Even if Chelsea have changed their formation, I look at that game against Liverpool. And yes, they are playing at home. But I do believe that this is what Arsenal do best. Because Arsenal are the kind of team who will lose to Watford and they'll go ahead and beat Chelsea. Because I do believe that based off that loss to Watford, you will see an Arsenal team come out and play a lot better. And their game will be on points, i.e. the speed of how they move the ball forward and how they do that one touch for ball by always pro progressively trying to get into attacking areas. I think their game will be on it at Stamford Bridge. They will click. This is just my inkling looking forward. They will click. Chelsea will still obviously have the domination of the game and still will have that maturity in the midfield. But it's moments and those chances. And I do believe that Arsenal will make better use of those chances. I see maybe Arsenal going ahead 2-0 earlier on in the game or something like that, but maybe it'd be 1-1 or a 1-0. But I, that's just why I think so. Because again, this is what Arsenal do. And the bigger point I wanted to make is this. Arsenal will beat Chelsea. I do see them beating Chelsea, but they're not going to win the league. And anybody who is stupid enough, who is thick enough to open their rotten mouth and tell me that if Arsenal beat Chelsea, Arsenal are in the title race, I will slap the living daylights out of you. Literally, I will slap you till you go back to, to your mother's womb. That's how hard I will slap you. Because Arsenal are not sniffing a Premier League title with the man to the right grinning. It's not happening. Even if Chelsea lose this, I still think they are champions elect. I still think that they'll do it because I've said many times that the only team that can catch Chelsea are Man City. I don't care about Liverpool. Liverpool are not in the conversation. Tottenham, get the hell out of here. Arsenal, don't make me laugh. I'll slap you. Um, Man United are sixth. So... That's what I, I see happening, you know, here. Um, but again, so for me, even if that's my prediction for Chelsea to win it, because I always like to be very tactical and see what guys have to do in a tactical sense. But for Chelsea to win, I think for them, they've, they've got to um, keep the ball and they've got to stop the runners. They've got to make the game narrower and make it a lot tighter. And for them, it is how they defend and they stack up. If they deny Arsenal space, you know, those two banks of four, and they do not allow Arsenal any freedom to move. So therefore you take a zillage out of the, 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 the game. You, 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 force, you, you force chairs to cut in on the inside and keep on taking shots. You do not allow any crosses to come through for Giroud. You do not allow any overlaps. If they allow that and they then get the ball and they get those ball in those key positions, with um, Hazard and people. And I do believe that Fabregas has to start. I'm sorry, Cesc has to start. I don't I don't care about Matic, okay? Matic is, is irrelevant to me. Cesc has to start because I think Cesc's passing will be very important in cutting down his people. So, but that's how I see it happening. This is going to be 2-1 to Arsenal, but Chelsea are still in the driving seats to win the Premier League title. 
don't you dare tell me Arsenal are winning anything. Click on that button there to subscribe to the channel and click the other button there to head to the website to for all nice fun stuff. Peace out. I'll see you for my post-match analysis after the game.